Hi everyone and welcome to our next tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to examine how we can efficiently transport data in computer networks. So far we've done some calculation with transporting pages or pixels and we've done that in class but we haven't really examined how we can do it efficiently and that's what we're going to take a look at in this video. So recall when we're transporting bits we're transporting ones and zeros down a medium from A to B that could be a copper wire it could be fiber and we did some calculations but we didn't really examine how we can do this in a very efficient way and we're gonna take a look at that in this video to do that we're gonna use a tool from code.org so let's go and take a look at it I gave you the link to this this is called the text compression widget and what it does is it figures out ways in which we can compress data in other words if I can compress data in other words if I have a hundred bytes of information and there's some way that I could make that smaller let's say 80 bytes then I'm compressing it I'm going from 100 bytes to 80 bytes but I'm still sending the same information if I can do that I want to be able to do that that's what we can do with compression here's what we're gonna do when you open the link up you get this here but what I want you to do is go and find your favorite song your favorite poem your favorite passage from a book we just need some text just make sure that it's school friendly what I want you to do is copy and paste so you're gonna go here you're gonna go write your own and what I'm gonna do is paste in I've got a song that I really like so I'm gonna add it here and what I want you to have down below here is at least a thousand bytes of information so as you can see here the text that I have in these song lyrics is a thousand and sixty bytes and right now you can see that my compression is zero percent this is the original text it has not been compressed in any way how do we do compression well here's the way it works we look for common words and for instance this song is called more than a feeling so if I go up here to the dictionary and I type in the word feeling what the compression widget is doing is it's saying wherever it sees the word feeling it's gonna put in this symbol basically what it's doing is taking these eight bytes of information there's eight characters and it's basically converting it to one represented by this symbol and now if you look down here now we've gone from a thousand and sixty bytes down to nine hundred and eighty eight bytes we have increased the dictionary size because now we've got a dictionary we have to transmit as well but overall in the end what it's done is compressed the total text down 6.04 percent so what I want you to do is enter your own text in here and make sure that it's over a thousand bytes and what I want you to do is see how much you can compress it for me I could go in here and say well the title of the song is more than a feeling so I'm gonna put that in and that whole phrase can be represented with one character so now you can see I'm up to 18.4 percent compression I'm down to 844 bytes for the text but I have increased my dictionary size um, so my new total bytes is 865 now what I can do is go in and I can see that there is something in the chorus that they sing over and over and I could put that in so I'm gonna do that and add that to my dictionary 
and I have increased compression to 14.34%. I'm going to just double check. Sorry, I made a mistake here. A typo. And let's just reset this here. It looks like it didn't pick that up. So let me just go back here and type this in. I don't think it's case sensitive. But it will have to be typed exactly. And I don't think I had it quite like that. So there, I've got that in. I have increased my dictionary here, but I can still see words that are commonly used. So I'm going to type those in and see if I can compress even further. So your task is simply to use the compression widget you are going to start with a text size that is over 1,000 bytes. And your challenge is to get the compression to be as high as possible. Right now, you can see that I'm at 28.49%. I could make that even bigger. Like I said, that will be your task. When you are done, what I want you to do is use paint and do a screen capture, do a shift print screen, put it into paint, put your name at the top of the file and you will be handing in a JPEG. Put your name on the JPEG as long with a title. For The title is text, compression, and hand it into Schoology. That's it for this tutorial. Take care, we'll talk to you soon.